to the Discovery Museum here at Newcastle to see the Turbinia, which was built in 1894, as you can see, and in 1897 she steamed through the fleet at the Fleet Review for Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee at about 40 knots, and it was not possible for any of the naval ships of the time to capture her. But my great-grandfather, Alfred West, did capture her on film and was invited by Charles Parsons to Tyneside to film her in motion and uh, he's taken the definitive uh, still shot of Turbinia at speed which is still used to this day to illustrate the ship and it's, it's on show here. The uh, propellers of the Turbinia were designed after much trial and error uh, by Charles Parsons. The early ones, the design cavitated much too badly and damaged the propellers and this was the final very elegant design that was achieved. There are actually nine propellers altogether on three shafts which generate the power to drive the boat forward at about 40 miles an hour. And the rudder is just offset slightly. Well, as you can see, the entry of the Tabinia into the, into the water is incredibly fine. It's almost like a knife edge. And this is what allowed it to uh, go through extremely quickly and eventually the water would pile up under the bow and this part of the bow would actually be completely out of the water when the ship was travelling at its maximum speed of about 35, 40 miles an hour. And as you can see, the ship is incredibly long. It's a very, very long ship. And length is what makes the ship uh, go faster to start with. Once the ship's going at a decent speed, of course, it can start to lift up out of the water. But this extreme length of the ship is what makes it so efficient to water. And it's said that when the turbinia was steaming at full speed, the amount of heat produced from the coal-fired boiler which drove the turbines was such that the funnel glowed almost red hot on the after side. And not just a few interesting artefacts here, there's the pendant that shows so clearly in Alfred West's photograph of Turbinia and next to it is a jersey as worn by one of the ten crew of Turbinia when it was first built. Most owners of racing yachts on the Solent had their crews fitted up with jerseys with the name of the boat on and here is the Turbinia's Gansey jersey with its proud Tabinia name on it. And here she is, the Tabinia, as filmed by Alfred West. We never had a moving picture, but that's the best we can do. Entry to the Discovery Museum in Newcastle upon Tyne is free, and you can come and see this at any time during opening hours. It really is well worth the trip. Tabinia, Discovery Centre, Newcastle. <laughs>